Well, Sandra, it has been a fairly blustery day along the New South Wales coastline. The showers finally cleared from Sydney, but we did have an early shower, and they're still raging away across the northeast of the state, though you can see these southeasterly winds pushing up there, and that did bring a few showers around the Ballina region. They saw over 30 millimetres of rain. A few showers also along exposed parts of the Queensland coast, but not really in populated areas. Cairns saw around 10 millimetres of rain. Windy across the Northern Territory, and it's going to be warm tomorrow in Western Australia. Fairly warm today too, thanks to northeasterly winds dragging down that hot air from the northern parts. Got some cloud across the southeast tonight, but uh, most of the range is confined to southern parts of Tasmania. For Sydney, cloud clearing to a sunny afternoon with a top of 23 on the way. Canberra down to a chilly 3 degrees tonight. Get out that extra doona and then a top of 23 tomorrow with clear sunny skies. Mostly clear across much of the southeast. An early shower for Hobart, then clearing to a fine afternoon with a top of 16. Into the west and most Mostly fine for Perth, though late in the afternoon you will see a shower with a top of 26 degrees. Queenslanders can expect mostly dry weather for the next couple of days, particularly inland. You will start to see some chilly morning temperatures though, thanks to uh, clearer skies and light winds down into the southern inland. But along the coast, we'll still see a few coastal cloud and shower patches for tomorrow. They'll be less prevalent on Tuesday though, just an isolated coastal shower, otherwise fairly dry. 22 forecast for Brisbane. We're gearing up for the silly season, but it also is the sailing season in summer. Let's see what our temperatures hold for the first day of the season. Adelaide expecting a sunny afternoon, dry in Brisbane, a late storm for both Canberra and Darwin. Hobart and Melbourne will see sunny skies by later on today and cooler temperatures. Perth will be dry and warm and a hot one for Sydney with a late shower or storm possible for that low pressure system which yesterday brought some cold windy weather across Western Australia. In that time it has uh, dipped to the south and just become a little less organised. It is weakening which means the showers will start to uh, ease back across the southwest of Western Australia and most of that cloud will just get pushed further east and not bring too much rainfall with it. Meanwhile across into the eastern states and we'll see uh, some showers down in southeastern Queensland easing back as today progresses as well. There is a trough line forming in a low pressure starting to form off the New South Wales coastline. Currently we're seeing some thunderstorms off that coast. They are staying offshore at present but we may see some of those showers clip the coast later on today and most other areas will stay dry thanks to this large high pressure system across Tasmania and Victoria. One of the things I love about summer is all the juicy stone fruit including wonderful mangoes and succulent peaches, plums and cherries. I'm going to get stuck into them shortly but first let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. Most of the nation will stay dry this afternoon and fairly pleasant for the rest of Mother's Day but look what's happening in Western Australia. A strong cold front is whipping up winds along the west coast. There's sunshine on the way as well thanks to this high pressure system to the south of Victoria. Meanwhile along the Queensland coast we've got plenty of cloud but little in the way of rainfall. Most of the showers right down Queensland and New South Wales coastline are staying offshore but there is a weak cool change moving into the south of New South Wales and that may increase the chance of some of the those showers pushing into the Sydney region. Today is December 1 and that makes it the first official day of summer and what better time to head outdoors and enjoy the sunshine and the parks of Sydney. Very similar story for Tasmania, a cold change is dipping to the south of your state. You may see a couple of drops of rain across the south and the west. In fact we have seen around one millimetre at Matt Saika Island and Strawn this morning. At the moment the temperature is 13 degrees in Hobart after quite a chilly start and the rest of today will be mostly dry. Just a few isolated showers to the west and the far south, increasing this afternoon and spreading to the southeast by tonight, otherwise dry. Change quickly move across the bite and it will line up with a trough or an area of instability through the inland, dragging down tropical moisture. So that will increase the chance of some showers across the southwest of New South Wales, also in Victoria and westerly winds still bringing some showers to Tasmania. While winter's still officially two months away, the first significant area of cold air hit Western Australia on Friday and it did bring up, look at this cold speckled air spinning up from the Southern Ocean across your state, bringing with it some very cool temperatures. Elsewhere we can see some jet stream cloud, this distinct sharp line of cloud showing where the jet stream or a high speed tunnel of air in the upper levels of the atmosphere is dragging moisture down into South Australia and bringing some rain with it into South Australia as well. We can also see this classic spiral pattern of a low pressure system and that's where we're seeing some rain and thunderstorms this afternoon across that southern coastline of WA. Now winds blow clockwise around low pressure systems 
So to the west of the low, we're seeing these southerly winds dragging up very cold air from down near Antarctica across the southwest corner, and that's why it's so chilly. Look how close together these isobars are, and that's an indication of a stronger wind. So strong cold winds across that southwest corner. See this line of storms quite violent offshore, basically parallel with the coastline and also up towards that other area just off the northeast. That's a convergence zone. We've got uh, fairly cool, dry air coming from the land and we've got warm, moist air coming in towards it and where that's meeting up, it's rising up and causing some thunderstorms. In the last day, Ulladulla has received 66 millimetres where they had a bit of a downpour with the storm yesterday and that brought hail, fairly uh, widespread flash flooding and brought down some roofs as well. So a bit of a violent thunderstorm yesterday afternoon. This is the most recent picture of the rain across the far northeast of the state. Most of those storms are petering out offshore.